Hello everybody, welcome back, in this video I will show you how to add ads to your Flutter app using Google Mobile Ads. Ok, let's begin. First, you need to add Google Mobile Ads to your pubspook.yaml. You can find Google Mobile Ads at pub.dev. Next, you need to set up Google Ad Mob App ID for your app. Copy this. Paste it in your Android Manifest.xml. Open your Google Ad Mob account, create an app for Android or iOS. Copy the app ID, you can find it in App Settings. Paste it in. For iOS, you need to open iOS, Runner, Info.plist. Let me create an app for iOS first. Copy the app ID. You also need to copy this and paste it in info.plist. Paste your iOS apps app ID inside string. Now let's try to run the app. I will show you common errors after implementing Google Mobile Ads to your app and how to fix it. If you get this error, you need to set your minimum SDK to 19. Go to App Level Build Griddle and change your min SDK version to 19. For this one, you need to upgrade your build griddle to newer version. Go to your Android level build griddle and change this to newer version. You can ignore this one. Now you are good to go. Nice. Now, I'm going to make a new screen for the ads. For this video, I'm going to make an interstitial ad and rewarded video ad. There are so many ways to show the ad. I'm gonna show you guys how to show it on the start of the screen, and call it with a button. Also, call it multiple times in a screen with a button. Just follow my steps, I will also put the source code in the description of this video.
testing, we're going to use test add unit. For the listener, you can copy add listener in the Google Mobile Ads documentation. For the first run with the ads, I highly recommend you to stop and rerun the app. Here you can see the app is loading. Now if we press the button when the app is loaded, then the app will be shown. Here's an example of what you can do with Ad Listener. Let's continue with the interstitial. And that is it for showing ad at the start of the screen. Now, let's move on to showing it multiple times with a button in a single screen. We want our ads to show right after they are loaded, so we need to call the add inside on loaded method. Now, all we need to do to show the ad is call the function load. Remember to call dispose after interstitial ad is closed.
Now you can call the app multiple times in a single screen. I personally prefer this method because the app won't lag on the start of the screen if there are multiple type of ads to show. Loading ad on start of the screen is also good when you need to show the ad quickly later. So the user won't need to wait for the ad to load first. That's it for this video, thank you for watching. You can check out the source code in the description of this video. I hope you guys learned something new today. See you in the next video, bye bye.